Hi, my name is Max McGarity. I'm the owner of Smoked on High Barbecue here in Columbus, Ohio. Just down the road from Rogue HQ, and we're getting ready to uh, prep some ribs for the big game on Sunday. All right, so what we've got going on for you today, um, this is our kind of Smoked on High Barbecue's proprietary blend on smoked ribs. Kind of cliche, but we go with KISS, keep it simple, stupid. It's, uh, it's nothing too hard and uh, something that can't be done at home. So we'll get going here. All right, so what we have here today to get started is first and foremost, we have uh, good quality meat. We get all of our meat from Northeastern Ohio. Um, we're gonna be smoking with uh, pork ribs today. Good clean cutting board, sharp, uh, sharp knife, and then over here we've got our, our dry rub that we use on our ribs. Any type of cooking oil, right now we're using vegetable oil. Um, anything will do, olive oil works well too. Paper towels, either a butter knife will work fine or we have a uh, kind of a spreader um, today. Right here we have our proprietary blend, smoked on high barbecues dry rub. Um, we do a, uh, a mixture of light and dark brown sugar. So definitely things that you can get at your local grocery store. Um, pretty common household items. We use a, uh, a coarse black pepper and just uh, regular table salt. Pretty simple on the dry rub, nothing crazy. These are spare ribs, so these are untrimmed kind of St. Louis style ribs. And I got two of them here for you today. There's a couple trimming thing uh, items that we like to do here first, so that's what the sharp knife will kind of come in handy for. There's a little skirt back here that we like to trim off. so. You might have, just have to position the ribs kind of however it's easy, easiest for you to handle. Make sure you have a sharp knife. And we just try to get some of this excess um, stuff off. And we'll trim it up a little bit just to make sure we don't have any uh, overhang in the smoker. This one looks pretty good. Just square it up a little bit here at the end. Cool. And that's really all you need to do. Keep it pretty simple. We like them to be kind of big and, you know, Texas style. Everything's bigger in Texas. so. The butter knife if you're at home or what we're using today. There's a thin membrane on the back of these ribs and uh, a lot of different schools of thought on, uh, on, on peeling ribs. We do it here. So what you do is you kind of, I always start on the second rib down, go under there, peel up, use your thumb and then you just want to grab your, your paper towel and you're literally just going to peel this off. Just like that. Preferably, you want to smoke them. Um, if you're trying to go with, uh, you know, smoke good smoked ribs, definitely want to smoke them. But you definitely can do them in the oven. Um, oven recipes would kind of go the same way as uh, the smoker. I mean, if it's it's a it's a box that has heat, so definitely leave them uncovered at least for the first few hours, so you can get that temp, you know, the, the nice kind of uh, mahogany color on there, uh, that browning effect on top of the meat. Um, and then maybe towards the end of the cooking process, you'll wrap them in foil or um, you know, completely cover the top of the pan um, just to kind of get that moistness and uh, that tenderness for the ribs. But definitely can, can cook them in the oven as well. And then second step, I guess here, uh, is we have, this is our vegetable oil. We like to use this to make sure that the, uh, the rub can kind of adhere to the meat. A little goes a long way, you don't need a lot. We just pour a little bit on here like so. Really just rub that in. To the ribs. We have uh, our dry rub here which is again a mixture of light and brown sugar with salt and pepper in there and really you just want to give it a good sprinkle completely covering uh, the surface there of both ribs. We just do the top we don't really do the back here. Um, you can do the back but uh, I don't know I think it's kind of a waste of the seasoning. Yeah so once you have the uh, rub all the way, kind of uh, spread throughout the whole slab there, you're good to go. So now that you have your ribs all completely prepped and rubbed and ready to go, um, you want to set your smoker temp. Uh, we smoke here to around 250 um, for about three and a half to four and a half hours. Let's go check it out and throw them on the pit. All you want to do here is just throw them on. All right, it's pretty simple from here. If you're looking, you're not cooking. Let them cook and do their thing. Now that we have our ribs on the smoker, rubbed and at 250 degrees, don't forget to get your favorite barbecue sauce as well because uh, you gotta have your favorite barbecue sauce with the ribs. Uh, here at Smoked on High Barbecue, we like to serve it with our sweet whiskey barbecue sauce. A couple uh, traditional style staples that go really good with ribs uh, for the big day. 
a baked mac and cheese would be delicious, maybe a, a coleslaw, um, or even like a cornbread muffin, something like that. You know, good staples, hearty staples, things that pair well with the ribs. So that's how we do ribs here at Smoked on High Barbecue. It's an easy enough recipe for anyone to kind of give it a go and that's kind of dipping their toes in the barbecue pool, I guess. It's a big, great meal for the big game. So next time you're in Columbus, Ohio, and you want to try some delicious barbecue, come on down to Smoked on High, where we've got your barbecue supply.